Hello there guys, James here. Today I'll be sharing with you my usage experience of Awaken OS 2.2 arrays for the POCO F1. This is the G apps build. It comes with Silver Core 10.6 out of the box and today I'll be sharing my usage experience after using this ROM as a daily driver for more than 3 to 4 days. So let's start off what I like about this ROM. The most important thing about this ROM and what I really like about this ROM is its smoothness. Every single animation and every transition is so smooth, it is buttery smooth to use this ROM almost all of the time. So the UI smoothness of this ROM is outstanding. It is the smoothest Android 12 that I have used so far. Sometimes you will just find yourself going through applications just scrolling around to just experience the smoothness of the UI you know. It is that smooth to use. You also have some amount of customization. Now it is not as deep of a customization as say ancient OS but you have some amount of customization which is always welcome. Talking about customization I suggest to you guys to change the display size to what I have here. I personally felt that it works better than the stock one. Apart from that this ROM was also very stable to use. I did not face any UI lags or crashes or any random reboots anything of that sorts. Banking applications also work uh, without root with and without root so safety net is also in check. Performance was also, the general performance was also stable, I did not find any lags or anything. So that is all what I like about this ROM. Coming to what I am not a fan of about this ROM. The first thing that I have to say that this ROM does have a pocket mode which you will see the proximity sensor already lit up. But it does not have an auto brightness toggle. I tend to use the auto brightness toggle quite a lot so, so not having that is slightly deterring for me. And also the absence of a game mode also hurts. Talking about the game mode, the gaming performance was also not that great. It will heat up quickly and it will start lagging also. It is not the smoothest experience out there. Now it is not the worst I have had. I have had much worse ROMs than this but you can definitely feel the lag in this ROM when you game. The charging experience was also not the best. It did heat up during charging and uh, it kept on getting more hotter as it charged. I like the fact that this ROM is trying to show the proper battery statistics which is the since full charge not the since 24 hours which is not very useful. It is trying to show that but the stat actual statistic is bugged. And when I was using the ROM I found my I found that sometimes the background of this quick settings panel bug out. Apart from that I had one or two instances where it did not let me expand the quick settings panel. It is easily fixable with a system UI. You do not have to reboot the entire system. You just have to hold the power button and do a system UI restart which will fix that. The overall battery life was okay. It was okay. It was not bad. 6 to 6.5 hours of screen on time is what I got uh, even on casual usage. Gaming did not take a massive hit on the battery life but still the average battery life of this ROM is not excellent for me according to my use case. And I do have to warn you guys that I do use mobile hotspot for uh, multiple hours per day so that is also a cause of battery drain. So now let's conclude about this ROM. If you are a casual user who is looking to daily drive a ROM, if you are looking for a stable ROM to daily drive, this is a perfect choice. Just the smoothness of the UI is very tempting and like I told previously you will just be going around the UI just scrolling around and uh, going back and forth between apps just to experience the smoothness of this UI. So it is something special to this ROM. If you are a hardcore gamer I am not sure if this choice will suit you or not. That is what I think about this ROM. But even though I would game a lot the time that I spent with this ROM was excellent. A ROM that makes you unlock the phone and just use it is something special isn't it. So yeah I had a really nice time with this ROM. I really appreciate what the developers did with this ROM. So what do I feel that needs to be improved in this ROM? If you ask me the question I would say an auto brightness toggle. I would also say the charging is a little bit uh, concerning. The, not the charging speed, the way the phone heats up while charging and it still charges at a higher voltage. So the heating stays consistent when it's charging. That is something of an area to be improved upon. Apart from that this is an excellent ROM that I really like. And once again I really appreciate the developers of this ROM. And that has been it for my usage experience of Awaken OS 2.2 Arrays for the POCO F1. If you have any questions or queries feel free to leave them in the comment section below and see you guys in the next one.